when the aircraft is flying, we have the propeller in some positive angle. So it can be from fine out, out of course. But when the engine shuts down, we want the propeller to go to the feather position. That's in flight. However, a problem might exist when we're on the ground. So let's assume the aircraft has completed its flight. It has coming off, has come off the runway, has taxied in to the to the apron, and the prop pitch will be in fine or super fine angle. So it it at a at a very low angle. And then the pilot shuts the engine down. So he deliberately shuts it because he wants to to uh, put the aircraft away for the night. Well, if the if the system senses an engine shut down the prop will go to the feather position. This is okay in flight. In fact, this is desirable in flight. But on the ground, this is not such a good thing. Because when we want to start the aircraft the next morning, then the starter motor has to overcome all of its windage. So if the propeller went to the feather position uh, when we shut the aircraft, deliberately shut the aircraft down on the ground, then when the starter motor goes to turn the engine over, you know, if you can visualize the, the prop um, moving down this direction, the, the starter motor has to come, overcome all this, this windage. So that can make it difficult for the, uh, for the starter motor to, to start the uh, engine. So what would be desirable would be, if we were on the ground, when we deliberately shut the engine down, shut the, close the aircraft uh, off for the night, that the propeller doesn't go beyond, say, super fine. So how can we do that? Well, we do that with uh, start latches. Okay, so um, here I have uh, a propeller, and it's in flight. And this is the, the piston that's changing the, the prop pitch. This is the oil pressure. And these are the start latches. So when we're in normal flight, the propeller is turning. And there's centrifugal force acting on the, on the start latches. And that force is pushing the start latches uh, out. Now let's assume uh, that the engine... Uh, fails in flight. So when the engine fails in flight there will be a, a loss of oil pressure, um, the feathering valve will open and then the feathering spring will push the piston all the way back to the feathering stop. And there we go. Okay, So that's normal flight and uh, that's what we want. The Propeller is now in, in, in the feather position. Now let's assume that the aircraft has completed its flight. Uh, it's come off the runway, it's taxiing in, into the apron, uh, it's come to its parking position, and we're ready to shut down. Well, when we're in the um, ground range, the propeller is in the fine or ground fine uh, position. There are still centrifugal forces acting on the latches. However, once the propeller is back in this position, the, centrif the start latches align with a latch on the, on the piston. So when the engine shuts down, we'll have no centrifugal force keeping the latches out. There is a loss of oil pressure, but the, the <coughs> spring tension here on the start latches pushes them out and they hold the piston in position. So this spring here can't push the piston back to the feathering stop. So we have landed and we hold the prop in this uh, fine position. So if I just go back, go through it again. So in normal flight, the propeller 
is at a reasonably coarse angle. So, so, so coarse that the start latches won't align with this um, uh, latch here. Okay, so when, when the engine fails, we can push the piston back to the feathering stop. However, when we're on the ground, the propeller will be back in the ground range. And when it's in the ground range, the start latches align with the notch here. So that when we when we shut down, yeah, there isn't loss of oil pressure, but the loss of centrifugal force causes the latch to, to latch in and the uh the feathering spring can't push the prop back to the feather position. So this will make it easier to start the engine uh, the next day.